good morning everyone so in today's chaotic world uh, where everyone needs counseling advice how can students be left aside being the most vulnerable section of society they often get misguided and to help us deal with this today we have with us miss parijat menon a renowned soft skills trainer who holds a green belt certification in global career counseling from the university of california los angeles and a gold certification from uni variety singapore apart from this to better understand the human psyche she also got her diploma in modern and applied psychology and did her parenting programs at harvard university and this is what helps her understand the interests and inherent abilities of the students to help them get on the right career track so welcome ma'am once again so how are your things going thank you thank you for the wonderful introduction so yes hi okay so what do you think is the main reason of delayed speech in toddlers what is really happening to their oral motor skills uh the lack of stimulation i hope you all know what is the stimulation that that is an instinct uh that creates the speech in the child so this be, see this actually develops through the connection natural connection with the parents and uh, all keeping all the uh, medical uh, things aside medical or physical problems like hearing loss or their tongue uh, tongue ties for kids and so on uh taking that aside we will just look on to the main uh, concept of lack of stimulation the actually the kids are not getting connected in nowadays because of the busy life uh the parents actually hardly had time to deal with the children that is the see i have clients uh, who are having the same problem who say, uh, who tells me like i have done all the therapies i have went through this went through that gave her they gave them so many activities for uh, all these skills motor skills and so on but still they are not getting uh, a fruitful result out of it so basically uh, the reason behind uh, this is not the uh, activities or the stimuli out of other stimuli from the environment it is the first and foremost thing that the parents need to get involved with the child uh, equally and make sure that the child is connected with them from the womb when the child is about to be born in the world so that's how it has to go about so main uh, first and foremost thing is that you get connected talk to the child from the day one and get connected automatically it is a stimuli and you will get a response out of it once the kid start when the kid's age is around 2 they are supposed to talk at least 5 uh, to 10 words that automatically happens but what we as parents do is that uh we think that is something that is missing some physical problem is there with the child and we go to the doctors hunt for therapies and do so many things but we forget that we are not getting connected to the child so i think that is the first and foremost thing that we should uh, get in um, touch and uh, how they uh, develop themselves so uh, ma'am is there any uh, like uh, ideal age means 2 uh, months or 3 months like what age it should be like when the uh, when a child can start talking see the child actually uh, start starts talking once they see our face like they give the response right. when you just talk to them they automatically give a response by either a cooing or like like smiling or something or the other day give some uh, gestures to understand that uh, they are they are actually listening what we are saying so it's not that they open up their mouth and talk words or languages before that they actually gives us response then they give responses that when you talk to them okay so uh, what so is first and foremost thing is you connect to the child the natural connecting is the first and foremost thing that you have to do right the logic is very simple that they they wanted to communicate it to with us mm -hmm. so they show so many gestures it's that's why i said there's a maternal instinct that a parent should always have if only when the parent get connected to the child 
the maternal instinct instinct actually happens right when that happens you automatically once you are connected to the child you automatically know when the child is hungry when wh- what it is need, needing and you should not be a panicking uh, parent as well you should understand the gestures with all your relaxation and make sure that you are getting connected in the right way got it uh, let's come to the next question so okay. how far can the parents adapt to their child's behavioral changes in the adolescent phase okay see um adolescence is a something that supposed to be addressed very carefully because the child is uh, act equally confused like the parents because they have so many physical changes emotional changes mental changes so many things happens with the child in that phase and there are there is uh, three stages of adolescence with the child like uh, from the, even it differs to from boys and girls uh, when you go uh, when you talk about the girls it starts from the age of uh, 10 and it has been uh, into three different stages and it ends up at 21 and when it goes to a uh, means a child boy child it differs it's actually from starts actually from 10 but extends till 13 for a child male child to uh, get adapted to the first phase of adolescence so they also and uh, there there is a small delay when compared to a girl child and a boy child when they enter into the adolescent phase uh, first and foremost thing is that the child uh, actually when the child is connect means uh, confused the parent needs to understand that you also had traveled through this you also has traveled through this and, and you should know this happens with everyone it is okay to happen all okay that the, this happens with the child and all they need is your understanding and uh, your um, time for them to make sure that you are there with them all the time in all troubles and all confusions that's where uh, the adolescent uh, that's how the adolescence to be handled with a with a calm and relaxed mood okay oh. but uh, normally the parents what they do is that they already pretend that they are all become an adult they they think we get misled that they are already behaving properly why should why are they again going to another phase but this this phase is full of up and downs either they behave like a child very silly child or they will be, uh, behave like a very matured uh, adult at times so it's very important for us to know that it happens not, not normally more than 100 mood swings are there for adolescent in one single day and definitely it's difficult for us but you if you try to understand the child you can actually do wonders with the child and not let them go in a wrong direction this is when they need your support okay so that is what the uh, parents should understand yeah absolutely so uh, what causes a sleeping disorders in children uh, sleeping disorders is nothing but like uh, again here the stimulation that we give for the child actually uh, controls the child's behavior uh, while sleeping there are child there are too, too many different uh, every child is unique so too many different uh, uh, mood swings or child uh, behaviors are there uh, sugar intake is the main reason uh, first and foremost reason to be ruled out while uh, making a child sleep uh, and there are so many other small exercises that can calm them and make them have to have a deep sleep and you just have to follow those uh, small i can just uh, give you few uh, tips on that part uh, you can give them breathing exercises like uh, if it is a very small uh, toddler or uh, to say around 2 to 3 years you can actually ask them to uh do some uh, tummy exercises with some toys or something breathing in hold and exhale exercises and all and uh, when it comes to uh, around an age of 8 to 9 that time when they are disturbed in sleep, uh, the main thing is that ask them to do some yoga or other relaxation and reading some stories before bed can help them relax their mind 
and uh, go to sleep. Uh, I don't think uh, that this uh, sleep disorder is a very big issue that is to be uh, taken into uh, consideration and uh, panic yourself. Uh, sleep disorders can be actually uh, easily treated through simple meditations or yoga. Sure. And so how do I know like if my child uh, has a sleep disorder? Uh, sleep disorders can be identified when the child awakes in the midnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. It's, see, when uh, you you are putting a baby to sleep, uh, a newborn definitely will have an uh, interval uh, sleep practice. Mm -hmm. they, they won't have a scheduled uh, time. Mm -hmm. But after the newborn, that is stage of newborn, when they become a toddler, definitely we are giving them a discipline of making them sleep at different intervals mm. when the different intervals is disturbed mm. that's how you understand there is have they are having something that is alarming them they are not able to sleep and uh, certain kids will have physical problems like uh, there will be a na nasal block or uh, some cold that is mm. been affected that can also uh, make the child not sleep uh, properly but apart from all that uh, other uh, things that when they become restless they become hyper at the midnight, there are parents who complain that they make them sleep and uh, they wake up around 3 and not allow the parents to sleep. For all these things, uh, you have to work on to it and make a disciplined way to make them sleep. You give them a structured uh, sleeping habit. Give them some uh, me that is uh, meditation or yoga. And uh, there are things you can see nowadays, uh, Google is filled with everything so they can just check out what are the, the best practices that can, the kids can be helped with yeah. so uh, that's how you address the sleeping uh, trouble with the child so you just have to get engaged them make sure if they're um, more than four years five years they might not have a habit of sleeping in the uh, daytime so make sure they're engaged there there are so much of physical activity in the day whole day so that they get uh, very tired and once they are put to sleep they they are they wanted to relax themselves if they if they have a long duration of sleep in the daytime that disturbs their night sleep so there are many common reasons behind it